The patients who are at the most risk for sudden cardiac arrest are those who have had prior heart attacks and have a low ejection fraction. The most important thing that patients can do is follow up with their doctor and take their medications appropriately. However, those things don't 100% decrease the risk of having sudden cardiac arrest. And for many patients who fall into those categories, we will consider doing an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD. Implantable cardioverter defibrillators, or ICDs, are implantable cardiac devices. Um, they consist of what we call a generator, um, which here is an example of a, a Medtronic generator. Um, and this contains a battery and programming. And this sits under the skin of the shoulder, just under the collarbone. And um, through the incision where we put that device in, uh, there's a blood vessel uh, near there where we can put the wires down to the heart. A common myth about ICDs is that it's a really complex invasive procedure to perform. Uh, getting a defibrillator is nothing like having an open heart surgery or a bypass surgery. Um, it actually uh, it only requires an overnight stay and an incision that's about two inches long, which is located just under the collarbone. The whole procedure only takes about an hour to perform. ICDs are an incredibly effective therapy. Um, for patients who do unfortunately go into one of these dangerous heart rhythms, um, the uh, rescue rate of the defibrillator is greater than 98 percent. So patients who have low ejection fractions are oftentimes referred to an electrophysiologist to discuss, uh, first of all, to confirm that they qualify for the defibrillator, and second of all, the process of getting the defibrillator implanted, all, you know, all the benefits and risks associated with it, and the follow-up process.